This video is not meant to be dramatic, but I feel like it's gonna be a little dramatic, just a little bit. It's weird. I've been practicing in the shower what I want to say, and I've sat here, and everything kind of just went out the window because I feel like none of that is relevant, and it's just not genuine to what I am feeling and what I want to tell you. First and foremost, I just want to say this will most likely be a very long video because I think there's a lot of layers to all of this. It's almost like a therapy session with you and I. You're my therapist. I feel like we're friends. At least that's the way that I like to see this relationship. Relationship. But this genuinely feels like I am confronting a friend. We've been distant for a little bit and this is an attempt, like a little coffee date, if you will. And I'd love to just kind of get some things off my chest and I'd love to hear from you. I feel like I'm going to be starting over in many different elements of my life. I don't know what it is about April, but it's just been feeling like a new season of life. I'm so uncomfortable. Like that's the reality. Like I feel as though I don't know us. This is the best way that I can kind of describe it. When I had my vlog channel, Natalie and Dennis, I really felt very connected to you. It was a time in my life during COVID. It felt so right because I knew how to talk to you. I felt like I was talking to a friend, really. I don't feel like that with this channel. And I genuinely feel like I have let myself and I've also let you down on many occasions. I feel like part of the reason why I do that is because I'm someone that I have really high expectations for myself. Sometimes I kind of, I'm on autopilot and then I don't take time to reflect because I feel like reflecting is scary. I feel like for a while I haven't really been listening to you. I get all these comments asking me for videos like more faith related content, just like relaxing and kind of just chatting, more journaling stuff. How is life after like Elias passing? Like it's all these things that I've kind of been like pushing away and I've been on autopilot and I've kind of just been showing up on this channel in a way that it feels forced. I want this to feel like a new slate. And what I mean by that is I really want to listen from you. I just want to be able to come on here and I want it to feel authentic to me. Let me run you through what goes on in my mind. Dennis and I, we sit once a week. We do this thing called a week at a glance and we plan out like everything that's going to happen. It's very detailed and it's literally us like being so busy throughout the whole week. And every single week when I upload on YouTube, I'm compiling all these videos that I'm shooting for TikTok and I'm putting them together and I'm just kind of hitting post and I'm like, whatever title it, whatever. I don't really care. Like literally thumbnail. It doesn't matter. I think for the past eight uploads I've done and it kind of like it nags at me. It's like, why are you doing this? What is the purpose? Why are you not creating the content that you feel will create purpose? Like I kind of feel like my content is a little purposeless. Maybe some of you will be really nice and be like, no, Natalie, like it's entertaining. Like we love it. Like love to learn new hacks, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like there's more to that. I want to feel like there's depth to the content that I create. This just doesn't feel authentic to Natalie in this case. But the reality is, and I would be lying to you if I didn't say that I really still love YouTube because Natalie's outlet was always supposed to be my creative space. It was always supposed to be a place where I would get lost after school, after I was like in my business school and uniform and selling crap. And I was like, oh, I just want to feel like I have a creative outlet and I want to share it with others. That's what I wanted it to be. And it always felt purpose driven. It always felt like safe. And my channel doesn't feel like that anymore. I'm grateful for everything that I have done on this channel. And I feel as though so many of my favorite creators are no longer on the platform. I think about the next stages of my life and what I want that to look for. I just turned 29. <laughs> I talked about that on the podcast because it felt like such a pivotal year for me. I know it's not like the grand 30 or anything, but it feels different. Yeah. I feel like I understand myself more and I know where I'm going and I'm confident in her and like strangely enough the next chapters of my life feel very pivotal as well. I am in that stage of potentially thinking about having kids, stuff like that. I think about the way I show up in this channel and in the world and how they're just so different. And I think about how I would love to be able to, let's say, like like a friend, you know, bring you along, like let's say shopping for my baby clothes. I don't know, random that I feel like we just haven't connected. And I think it's gonna hurt me a little bit to read through some of these comments because I've done something very similar in the past where I've just been very open like today and you guys were so real with me as a friend should be. I wanna start over with you. There's a part of me that I absolutely wanna trash this video because it feels so redundant and kind of like, I've seen so many people on YouTube do this, but now that I'm on the other side, I get it. One of my words of the year was authenticity. And I feel like I haven't been courageous enough 
to be that. This is a reintroduction. I say that with a little bit of nerves because it's like, oh, you know, maybe I will still post like some beauty hack content, but then maybe I will just dive into like the real stuff that I've been wanting to dive into, the things that feel has meaning behind and like things that maybe will alienate some people. Dennis and I have been receiving a lot of interesting comments, one of which, I don't know if the word is like hurt our feelings, but it really, it attacked our relationship. I realized that with the podcast, it really is such a platform to kind of like just sit back and dissect the two individuals and really judge them. Like one of the comments that we got that was interesting is that Dennis and I have a very shallow relationship. I talked to him about this after reading the comment because he didn't even want to show it to me. In the end, we had to like affirm each other like this is why we're not a shallow relationship, but interesting comment. Like it was interesting to look at and understand why they saw the differences in like values and maybe it has to do with like, I don't know, whatever they saw. It's, I can't interpret it, right? Even though that was kind of a hurtful comment, I still feel like it was deeper. And that's something that I want to have on this channel. I think about my breast explant video. That was a very vulnerable video for me to film. And it's one of my favorites, to be honest doesn't mean that all of a sudden the tone of this channel is like serious and like all of that. No, I still want to do some fun stuff, but I just want to challenge myself a little bit more. I don't have to do this anymore. And I choose to do this because I love doing this and because I love you guys. And because I still think about that little girl that this would be such a dream. Like I've always been a YouTube girly. See, that feels good. Like, whew. This has been weighing on me. If this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, oh my God, this is weird. You are my friend. I see you that way. I started this feeling so heavy, not even smiling and sweating, but now I'm just feeling lighter and happier. And like, I'm actually smiling and that's good. That's a good thing for me. Maybe while we're at it, I'll give you a little bit of life updates, if you will. Dennis and I started a podcast, Natalie and Dennis show. This was actually, you guys, our vlog channel. I think there was one subscriber that was like, who the heck is this channel? Because we completely changed the channel. It's always been Natalie and Dennis show, but reinvented it into now a podcast and all of this. It's been a really exciting project and it's been something that again, I don't have to do, but like I love doing it. If you haven't checked it out, it's really nice. Just a deeper conversation with Dennis and myself and we love bringing you guys along. Another update is life has been much better. Last year was one of the darkest years of my life. With everything that happened to my sister and my niece, I literally felt like I just could never get out of it and I I am starting to see the light again, if that makes sense. <laughs> I know it's a little bit dramatic. I did want to note that because I get a lot of questions of like, how's Angelica and how are you with everything that's happened? And I just want you to know that I'm doing very well. I feel just lighter and better. I've been really posting a lot on Instagram and TikTok and that's been a lot of fun, but I've also been like challenging myself with new formats and that's always so exciting. I was so hesitant to do TikTok and I'm so happy that I did because I feel like creatively it's really ignited something within me that's inspiring and fun and it's allowed me to consume content in such a different way. Needless to say, I've been posting a lot of really fun stuff, which I've been repurposing here. And that's another thing. I guess I would love to get your take on what is your feeling with that? Is it okay? Like, do you like seeing that type of content or is it annoying to you? The main purpose why we are uploading shorts on this channel, is number one, it's the only way that we're actually growing as a channel. TikTok isn't in many different areas of the world. And so it allows for those type of people to also consume my content and you know, join the community, etc. For the longest time, you guys have been asking me to release a journal, to have some kind of worksheet. Like you guys love the worksheets. Literally, it's insane. I have over like 300,000 emails from just those worksheets. Like you guys freaking loved it. The response was insane. I am going to be releasing some really fun worksheets that are really helpful for me with my ADHD. And I think will be a really great just asset in your life for relaxing, but also getting sh Actually, speaking of ADHD, it's been an interesting thing. I mentioned it slightly here in like one video that I was diagnosed with ADHD this year. And it was such a pivotal diagnosis for me. Like I literally, my life changed and everything made sense. I've been learning how to like cope with it. I've been learning strategies. For those of you that do relate to me and you're like, Natalie, like I've been dealing with this for so long, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I have like a brother and sister out there. So we actually just recorded an ADHD, how I was diagnosed 
diagnosed with it and like why it took so long for me to get diagnosed. So I will link that episode down below. It's over on the podcast. It was a really sentimental, beautiful, and scary episode for me to record. With that being said, thank you for staying till the end of the video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. If you would like to leave me a comment as to like what you want to do or what you want me to do more of, let me know. I'm going to get my ass to just read some comments and listen to you. It makes me sad for everybody that's kind of dropped off on YouTube, but I just want to let you know it's not me. It's not happening. I really love it. Anyways, I guess that's it. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.